Alrighty, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we'll do is we'll create the order repository REST API, and then also go through and update the configs to make the API read only. Alrighty, so in IntelliJ, we can go ahead and look at some of our backend code. So I'll do a quick refresher here. I want to look at the entity class for order. So this is the one that will set the API um, up based on this order class. And so order has a reference to the actual customer. And so we'll use this to search for orders by customer email address. And now I'll go ahead and move over to my DAO package and I'll create this new interface for the order repository. And we'll give the name order repository. Make sure it's an interface. I'll give the annotation up top for the repository REST resource. Also, we'll extend the JPA repository. We give the entity type, comma, the primary key type. Order, comma, long. Be sure to import the order class from our e-commerce package. So now we just go through and we create our method name. Find by customer email, we pass in a param named email. And we also provide our params here for pagination support. And be sure to import Pageable from the Spring Framework Data Domain Package. That's all the coding that we need here for this repository. And so remember, behind the scenes, Spring will create a query based on the actual method name. Moving ahead to step two, we're going to update the configs to make the order repository REST API read only. And so we'll make these updates here in this config package in this class my data rest config. Alrighty, so in my data rest config, we move down to this method here, configure repository rest configuration. Uh, we have some code that's already in place. Uh, let's just go ahead and copy. Um, one of those lines, just paste it here, and then we'll just give order.class. So for this order repository, disable certain methods. And we followed this process before for a lot of our other code, so you understand this piece so far. All right, so we can go ahead and run our application, and we can test it out. And what I'll do is I'll start up Postman so I can send some queries uh, to this REST API. So moving in here to Postman, I'll create a new request. So it's going to be a GET request, and I simply need to give the URL. So just use the URL that we have here on the screen. And API orders search find by customer email. And then our parameter is email equals. 
and we need to give an email address, but I'm not sure which email address to use. So uh, let me go and check my database and see uh, what uh, customer emails I have in my database. So I'll just swing in here to MySQL Workbench, log in, go to my table here and do a search on my customers. And I see in this example, I just have one customer emails demo at love to code.com. So your values may be different depending on what you use for testing. Um, so just use whatever that email address is, and then we can put it over here in this postman. So demo at love to code.com. So just make sure that this matches with whatever data you have in your database. Do a send. We got a 200 response. So that's a success. So this is great. So looking at the data here, we can see the previous orders that were processed by this given customer. And you can always cross check this by looking at the orders in your actual database tables. So this looks pretty good. So we have the REST API in place for finding orders based on a customer's email. So I like to say, good job, my friend.